welcome to the Crafty Diamond. I am Debbie. In today's video, I have a kitting up of the canvas that I plan on using for two events that starts in September and ends on October the 31st. And that is going to be for Drills and Chills, hosted by Katie at Diamonds and Washi, and then also Festival of Witches, and that is hosted by Lindsay at Emeralds and Fairy Lights. So I'm using the same one for both, which is really nice. Um, I have decided to use Cauldron of Myrrh by Diamond Art Club, and I had three or four. I could not decide which one that I wanted to do. And so I finally decided that I've had this one in my stash since last year. And so I want to go ahead and get this one done. And this is by Ivy um, Dollamore, and it is a 56 centimeter by 74 centimeter with 50 colors. So I'm going to use this case that I purchased from Amazon, and this one has 60 bottles in it. So I'm hoping that I can get some of these that have quite a few bags into some of these extras. And if not, I'll just put those aside and I, I'll put them in here. I like how this has this little net here, the netting. I can put my extra drills in there and then it will be ready to go when I get started on it. And that will be in September. So I'm going to go ahead and pull all of these out. I'm trying to make some space here. Hopefully this won't be too bad. And Diamond Art Club has theirs arranged by weight. And this one is too. I need to try to put these in order the best that I can. I guess it really doesn't matter because I can move them around in here. And um, let's see how many ABs we have. One, two, we have four ABs in this kit. So that's going to be a lot of fun. Here's the first one. It's 113, this gorgeous pink. And then let's see, haven't gotten the other ones yet. So let's just go ahead and get started. I'm going to move this up some so you can actually see. I'm going to have a little boat just in case that I make a mess. With Diamond Art Club, they do have stickers, so that makes it extremely nice. I hope they fit on this little bottle. I may have to cut them, but I really hope not. Oh, perfect. Okay. What I'll do is I'm going to just kit this up, and then I can rearrange my bottles later. I also have my trash can handy. And on this box, I had the smaller thumbnail that they sent that I normally would put on my, my diamond painting log, but it's on the box. So I'm going to just use this large one instead. Whenever I go to fill out my log, I won't fill out the log until I officially start. And it may, may not be the first day of September, it will be sometime in September is the plan. Okay, this one is 208. I'd like to have this in order. Let me see if I can do this really quick. Oh, wow. There's a lot of, of course, there's going to be a lot of blacks in here um, because there's a black cat and she has a lot of black on her. Let's see. I was trying to find 126. I should probably have already cut these. That would have been too easy, right? Okay, here's 126. Normally I already have these cut and ready to go. There's not too many, so it shouldn't be horribly bad. This is another AB, 126. That one's really pretty. Okay. I had planned on doing this one last year around October, September, October. And I also participated last year in Drills and Chills, but I did not do this one. I did, um, or I didn't do one um, that was even similar to this. I did a Craftably, and that one turned out gorgeous. It was my first Craftably that I did. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here, and I will label these 
I'm going to go ahead and use, I'll just use the containers until I don't have any more. And then I will have to put them in my baggies. That's a lot for an AB. And I just threw that one. So let me grab that really quick. I'll be right back. Okay, that was interesting. Just threw it across the room. Okay, so now I have 208. And that's a dark purple. I need to label that before I really get myself confused. I'm gonna go ahead. These are gonna be out of order for now. That's fine. I'll rearrange them anyway. I like to have my drills arranged, not by DMC number. I've tried that and it just didn't work very well for me. I like to have mine first numeric and then I have alphabets and then I have symbols and I try to combine similar symbols together. Okay, so this one, I'm also gonna have, I'll have to find, I did not bring my labels in here, which is fine. I may have another 208 here. These are really pretty colors considering that it's Halloween and it's a witch. Okay, I've got, let me go ahead and do these. Um, there's a lot of three tens. Oh, and this one is an older kit, so it's going to be the older drills, and it's going to be especially the older three tens. Okay, so I've got four extra bags of three ten. I'll just put those aside for now. Um, let's see here. We have three ten. And because I have so many three tens, I think I will just put it in the one instead of two and then just put it in a bag. I'll be glad when I can use my Elizabeth Ward containers again for something like this. But right now they are all in use. I may need to go and buy a couple more. And with Elizabeth Ward, I have found that Target also sells them. And I usually just order them and then they have free delivery where I can go and pick it up at Target and I will get them when they're on sale. So I need to be on the lookout. I'll just put this in this bag. It shows it's 310 and that way, whenever I need it, I can go ahead and it will be there. Let's see, and this is 317. Elizabeth Ward would have definitely been good for this one because there are a lot of drills. But looking at this kit, it does look like there's a lot of color blocking. So normally I don't like a lot of color blocking, but for this, I think I'm going to enjoy it because that's all that I have been doing lately is color blocking. And I'm really, I mean, is confetti. And I would really like to have something that's a little bit easier to work on. I can finish faster, so that would definitely be a plus. I'll put this in there too. I think this one's going to be a really fun kit, and I really don't decorate my house for Halloween. Um, I used to when the kids were little, but I really don't do it that much anymore. And my daughter asked me the other day if we could decorate for Halloween this year. So I may have to go and buy a few things. It won't be much. There is a second bag of $37.99. There's four bags of $33.71. I'm not ready for that one yet. I'm gonna put these two over here since these are in the three thousands. Okay, and then I've got 327. I can go ahead and do that one. That's a gorgeous purple. I love purple, so this is going to be a lot of fun. Okay, so this one is 327. 
I'm getting up a little early for this since it doesn't start. You cannot start on the canvas until September 1st, and it has to be a new start. But I wanna go ahead, get this done, so that way I don't have to worry about it. And I am spilling things. I'm throwing things across the room, and now I'm spilling drills. Better be careful what I pick up today. This is crazy. Okay, so now I can't open this. All right, so now got that one in here. And then I'm going to put this over there. Grab another one. And let's see. I have two 938s. So I'll just go ahead and put one in my stack over there. I'm gonna put this here since that's in the 900s. Here's another, here's a 3837. So I will put those in the 38 pile. Here's a 209 and a 141. 3834, okay. This one is gorgeous. It is one of my favorite white 80s. It's a large bag too. So let's go ahead and get 141. So that's going to be this one. I know this isn't going to all fit in here. Okay, this is going to go here. And then I'm going to put these here. I really don't want to use up a lot of these containers. I might go back later on the ones that I have in bags and put those into these containers after I see what I have. Okay, this is 209. Looks like all of this may fit in here. We shall see. There's 209. And if you hear my dog crying, I am so sorry. It is raining and she is pouring down rain. She still wants to go out. And she's mad because I have locked the doggy door and she can't get out. But it is what it is. So if you hear her whining, she's not in any kind of distress or anything. She's just mad. She's kind of throwing, throwing a temper tantrum. She's almost two, so I guess we're going through the terrible two stage. And doggy doggy stages. I'm going to go ahead and cut some of these. This will save a little bit of time. These are good. These will all fit. I don't know what numbers these are. I'm just going to go ahead and cut all of these. I love all these bright colors. I don't usually like to do Halloween because it's so dark. But I saw this one, and I saw the colors, and I thought, this is me. It's a lot of pinks, it's purples, and of course there are, there's a lot of black, but it's got green in it, so I think this will be really fun. It's not going to be a real dark painting. Okay, let's see, I cut all of these, and let's see what I have here. This one is 414. Mm -hmm. Okay, I have my boat buried. This one's 414. I've seen on the Facebook group that um, Diamonds and Washi and Emeralds and Fairy Lights have a Facebook group together. I cannot remember what the official name is, but I've seen where several are going to be doing this kit. And I was between this one and Lavender Witch, and that one is um, from Die Moon Shop, and I just could not decide. So I went ahead 
and decided I wanna do this one because it is older. Let's see, I already have this one. That's an extra, oh, wait a minute, that's not right. That one's 414. I'm gonna mess myself up if I'm not careful. I'm talking. Okay. So this one is going to be 414. We're starting to get into our rainy season early, I think. Now I'm making a mess again. I've opened this is split on the side, that's why. I'm just gonna have to do this and to clean it up because it is making a big mess. It's split all down the side. I feel like I'm just fumble fingers today. Let me just get these in here and then clean this mess up. I think I'll be all right. Okay, Let me clean all this mess up. These don't have this many problems. I don't know what my problem is today. All right, let me get all this up and then I can get back to another color. Okay, let's see if I can do this without making any more messes. This is crazy. Never this klutzy. Okay, I have 134. That's another AB. It is a green AB. So that is really cool. Green AB, I don't know if you can see that or not, through the plastic. This one should definitely fit all in one. I don't get in there, okay. So that's 134, and then I have 154. There's not very many in this one either. This is just a regular drills. Okay. Oops, I missed just a couple of in here. Make sure I get them all because I don't want to run out of drills. Diamond Art Club is really good about giving extra drills, but I really want to be on the safe side. So that's 154. Okay. And then I have 166. There's not hardly any in here. I mean, literally a handful. Okay, 166. Cannot believe I'm thinking about Halloween. I mean, even though this is starting in September, it's just crazy how this year to me has just flown by. I don't know why these sides, I'm tearing the top and for some reason I'm also Tearing the sides. This is the second time I've done this. I think I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, let's see. There's those. I have a couple here that are that flew out. Of course they did. Um, let's see. I got these two. Let me pick these two up. Okay. Takes care of that one. Get all this paper out of the way. And then I have now 210. Okay, here is 210. This one I already have, 209 on the full. Okay. Got 210. This one might fit, surely. Maybe not. 
These don't hold as much on these containers as my other bottles that I have. I hate not to put that in there, but I don't want it to be too terribly full. So I'll just put that in a bag. When I put these in, I have a little tote that I put extras in and I label them. So I know exactly where they are when I need them. They're, these aren't gonna all fit in the top of this little container. There's no way. Okay, now I'm on three twelves. Here's all my threes. Okay, there's not much to three twelve either. Oh, sorry, I just hit you. I'm telling you, it is just like, I don't know what my problem is. I have not had any problems with dropping anything or anything until I start to do this video. And now I feel like I was kind of scared to pick anything up. Okay, that's that one. Now we have 318. This one doesn't have much in it either. Get a 318. I have this one. I think I will go online and look for Elizabeth Ward containers. I really am missing mine. If I just go ahead and get the larger ones finished, I would have them. Okay, this is 318. There's not much in there. Next, and there I go again. Wait, okay. Ugh. Okay, this is 322. I better not pick up anything breakable for the rest of the day. Better not pick up my cat. Okay, 322. Surely I wouldn't drop her. That's 322. Okay, this one's small. So this will definitely fit in here. Alrighty. Okay. Lots of blues. And this one's open. Something's going on with this kit. This one has on 355, they're coming out of the side here. The I know this sounds really strange, but the plastic or like the, um, I need to check my canvas on this too, but it seems like these bags are really thin. It doesn't seem like they're the same quality and consistency of Diamond Art Club. I've never had that happen before. They just feel very flimsy and a lot of them have little pinholes and I have drills coming out. So it's not me as much as I thought it was, but it is these drills. And some of these are staticky. I hope that the kit I'm sure the kit's fine. I've looked at the canvas. I just don't understand why it's doing this. That's very annoying. Now I forgot what number that is. 355. Okay. And there's not very many of these either which, you know, is fine, but it just feels different. It's hard to describe. Okay, I've got three, let's try this one. I thought it felt a little strange when I was first opening these up and now I'm seeing on a lot of the upper DMC numbers that the bag is really thin, but the drills look good. And like I said, this is an older kit. That shouldn't matter though. I have several older kits 
that I haven't had any problems with. I'm okay with the bags as long as the drills are good and the canvas is good, I'm okay. Okay, this one, let's try this and see. These colors are gorgeous, so I'm good with that. I like these browns too. Kind of a burnished brown. Okay, this one is 356. I got that one on here. Okay. Moving right along, let's see. Now I'm on the 400s. Okay, this one is 413. This is a really dark gray. That helps me to scoot them down some. Okay. It's not going to all fit. There's a, a lone diamond that is purple that's in here. That's interesting. Okay, so... 413. I'll get a bag for this one. There's very little red in this kit. I think there's maybe two reds. It's just funny that there's actually red in here. All right, so that goes in here. I have this one, 433. That's another really small bag. This is a small bag, so this is good. 433. This is another dark brown. Okay. There's that one. Glad I emptied my trash before I started. Okay, here is a red, 498. Very little in here, but it's a really pretty red. It's like a bright red. Okay. It's 498. Hitting up Halloween makes me want to get my sweaters out, and it's only 90 degrees here, so I don't think that it is sweater weather, but it's kind of funny just thinking about the fall. I am so ready for fall. If I get this one finished, I would like to do a fall landscape. This one is 666. It's one of my favorite reds. There's just a handful of this one in here as well. Okay. And we're back to green, do need to look at my landscapes and see what I can do that is fallish. I don't know how I would fit that in though because I have everything already scheduled what I plan on doing and with my schedule changing slightly maybe a little difficult for me to figure out what I'm gonna do. Okay, so let's see where's the sevens? Okay, 700. We have 718. It's another bright pink. So let's do this. Okay. 
that all fit in one, so that's good. Um, seven fifty-eight. Seven fifty-eight. Had that one over in the nine hundreds. Okay, seven fifty-eight. It looks more like a camel, like a camel brown. But look at that it on camera. It looks more orange. I hope all this fits in here. I don't think it's going to. Oh, barely. Okay, that's good. Okay, that's seven fifty-eight. Now I've got seven seventy-nine. It's another rather large bag. Okay. That one very good. This bag is completely full. From the way I've been flimsy fingers here, I'm afraid that I'm gonna really spill it. That's not gonna all fit. Uh, I didn't think it would. The so downside to these, these just aren't, they don't hold as much as my other ones do. That's $7.79. That's why I have all these extra bags. And the bags that I'm using are thicker. I also use these in my storage containers. I really do like those. They're a lot thicker than what you normally would you get from Diamond Art Club or any of the other companies. And they do hold quite a bit in my storage. So that is definitely good. Okay. Not much to that one either. Okay. okay. I need to put the label on before I forget. 780. Now we're going to 800s. Getting closer, getting closer. I need 823. That is a very dark purple. That's really, oh no, actually dark blue. Okay. Very pretty. So I got 823. Do any of you plan on participating in any September, October events. The very first event that I participated in was Drills and Chills. So I always sign up for that one because since it was the very first one that I participated in. And I don't, right now, I don't think I'm going to participate in anything in November or December because that's always so busy for my family and I, especially not November so much, but December gets really crazy because end of the semester at work. So I have grades I have to do and um, students submitting late work. Um, I have to take care of all of that and then start preparing for the, the upcoming year. So I'm not really sure if I'm going to do anything in December. I know what I'm going to work on, and if an event falls into that category of what I'm working on, then I may go ahead and just sign up. Because events always get me motivated to spend more time on one particular diamond painting. But we'll see. And I may do Advent, um, the Advent event again. I don't know. Um, because that is a lot where you will section off a canvas that you complete in X amount of days leading up to Christmas. And I just, I don't know. Because that is, it's a lot. You have to commit to, you know, one square a day. And if I do a smaller one and I don't have, if I decide to do a real small one, I don't have to worry about it then I might, or I can section it off into really small sections. So I'm really, I'm not sure yet. Okay, this is the last one of the 800s, 895. 
I guess it depends where I am when I get to December of the projects that I really want to do. That one is a fun one too. But with me doing the large challenge I'm doing in September, I just don't know if I want to commit to something for every day again. Okay, I'm getting there. The next ones are 900s. Where'd I put those? Those are all here. Okay, I've got 915. It's here. Oh, that one's really pretty too. I always like to kit up because I think it's relaxing when I'm not spilling drills everywhere. Um, but I like to look at the new colors and it's just fun to see what I'm gonna be working on next. And I don't mind kidding down um, as much. Really, it's not like the most favorite thing to do, but it's not the worst either. I don't mind it. You know that some people absolutely hate it. I try to stay caught up with it though. I don't wait until I have five or six that I finished and then decide to, to kit down. I like to go ahead and kit down as soon as I am done. Okay, this one is a very, it's like a chocolate brown. I don't know in September though, when I do the 30 by 30 challenge I'm gonna do, I probably will have to spend a couple of days kitting down after the fact. I need to start kitting those up too. So you may see a lot of kitting ups coming your way. Um, so I'm able to start on my 30 by 30 as soon as September 1st hits. Not really sure. I think I know how I want to do it, but I'm still kind of thinking about it. All right, the next one is 963. We're getting into quite a few greens right now. I say that and this is pink but there's like three greens that's coming up next. I think these bright pinks with the lighter pinks and the purples and the browns and the black and the gray, I think they're gonna look really pretty together. And I have a black cat, so it's gonna be fun to do this one because of her. 986 is the next one. Okay. And I haven't um, diamond painted the black hat yet. I have a couple in my stash. I just haven't done them. Okay. This one's 986. Then I have 987. It's another one that has a little pinhole in it. I didn't notice that until after I started pouring. I don't know if they did not seal well when they were shipping, during shipping, if they, if something happened or if they just did not seal well when they were being manufactured. So I don't feel so bad that it's not, I'm not doing all of this. Okay, 987. Oops. This one's 987. And then I have 992, very little of this green. I'm actually filming this on Friday, and I'm hoping 
that I can spend a lot of time in my craft room in my basement this weekend. I just want to sit and diamond paint. I haven't gotten to diamond paint very much this week. And so I just really want to just sit and diamond paint. Hopefully I will be able to. Let's see, 3326. Where's that one? I don't see this one. Oh, here we go. Okay, 3326. I had put this one in here and was not sure which one it was. So it's 3326 is this one. Then I have 3371. That's another very dark color. It's a full bag. Ugh. This one's like that again. I'll put this in here. I think this is going to be the best way on these that have that are open on the side like that is just to do it this way. And the rest of these will have to go into a bag. Okay, that's gonna be the best way to do that one. And then once again, clean up a mess. It's not too bad. Alrighty, getting closer. Clean this mess up here. Now they're sticking to me. Our humidity right now is just horrible. And I really think that some of the issues I've been having could also be with our humidity because it is so high. Is. Let's put that one up. Alrighty. Now coming back into some pinks. I've always been curious how DMC numbers were set up because it can't be all by color because you have pinks that are like lower numbers of DMC and then you have these pinks that is in 33. This one is 3608, but then I have pinks that are also, which one is this one? Um, there's a 400, there's a 3326, of course that's close by, but it's just, I don't know. Unless they came out with different colors later on and they just went down the line and used whatever the next number was okay let's see 3609 is my next one and the same thing with some of these purples i'm about to have more purples that i am going to be putting in the containers and purple was like 209 was a purple hey This one is 3609. And then I have 3778. We're back to browns again. This is a brownish orange. Okay, 3778. Okay. Oh, good. This is all going to fit in here. So that's nice. I've got a couple more missed. Do not want to leave any drills out. Okay, 3778. Okay, the next one, 3799. And back to the dark grays again. Okay, 
another bag. So let me go ahead and put the label on here and then I can get a bag for that one. These are in the 3800s. So we got 3830. It's another brown. 3830. Okay, this is weird. All right, 3830. Not very many in here. Then I have 3834 back to purple again. 3834. This is another large bag. Thirty-eight, thirty-four, thirty-eight, thirty-seven. Now at thirty-eight, thirty-seven, another purple. These little slivers up. All right, thirty-eight, thirty-seven. Oh, almost. Come on. Nope. Uh, that's going to be too full. It'll be overflowing. Let's see. I'll do this. 38, 37. And I do have some extras here. So I'm going to go ahead and put that one here. I'll put it directly behind this one so that way I know what it is. And then I will label it later as soon as I'm done here. Now I have 3843. This is a really pretty blue, but very little in the bag. All right, so I've got all of these. Forty-three, and then I have thirty-eight. I have two more. Actually, this was yeah. There we go. Okay, this one's thirty-eight forty-three. And then I have 3846 and 3860. This one's 3846. And then I have 3860. This will all fit in one. So I have a few containers that are empty. And so for now, I'm just gonna leave the ones that I have in the bags, since I already have them in the bags, but I will know exactly where they are. And so I will put these in a container, all the ones that I have that are 
my extras. I will put those in a container and then I will label those and I have a shelf that I put all of the drills on that go to a kit and I will of course label it because if not, I will go back and not know what that kit is or what the drills are for. And then I'm going to keep this in this container. I'll put it up here in here and I'll keep it there until I finish the kit. And then I will put that in my log book. So I won't have a picture of my log book until I um, complete this kit. And then all these extras, these are the ones that I will just put in my little container. There's not that many, I'll label them. And so I will know exactly what this is for. I hope that you enjoyed this video with spill drills and all. And maybe you were able to get something done while I was um, working on this as well. But until next time, keep on diamond painting and I will see you later. Bye.